Hey, I'm Dan Beldowitz bringing you another quote from the car. Today's quote comes from Dennis Waitley. It goes something like this. You must break out of your current comfort zone and get comfortable with the unfamiliar and unknown. Because what's holding you back from everything that you've ever wanted, all your dreams, all your goals, all your aspirations, actually living into who you are, to waking up on purpose, to being the person that you know you could be, to seeing what it is that you could actually achieve, is simply your comfort zone. And I get there are a million reasons why. They are valid reasons, but ultimately they are excuses that hold you back. You may not have the time. It's not the right time. It's not the right place. It's not the right people. Maybe it's when the kids get out of school. Maybe it's when the kids go to school. Maybe it's when the bills are paid. Maybe it's when you get that extra check. But there's always going to be something that says, no, you won't have it. There's always going to be that inner voice, that inner critic that says it's not right. That you can't do it. And maybe it's the fear of criticism. Maybe it's the fear of what other people think of you. Maybe it's just your ultimate comfort zone of what it is that's usual and normal and average for you. But ultimately, that's what holds you back from accomplishing all that is truly inside of you. Your true potential of who you could be. Because it's easy to sit on the couch. It's easy to say, I'll do it tomorrow. It's easy to procrastinate and put it off just another day. It's easy to hit the snooze button and sleep in. But that's where your comfort zone is. Imagine if you were actually to have the life you wanted, to to have the life of those that you look around and say, wow, man, they're lucky. They must have been work. They, they, they've got it all. They've got what I want. They've got the dream life. Imagine you actually had that. The only thing you would have to do to actually have it is break out of your comfort zone. Because that's where you're stuck. Maybe it's fear. Maybe you're afraid of stepping out. But your comfort zone is killing your dreams. And if you've got goals, dreams, and aspirations of doing something great, of impacting the world, of changing things, or even just changing one life making one phone call, talking to that girl, reaching out to that guy. No matter what it is in your life, that comfort zone is what holds you back. That little voice inside of you that says, no, you know what? This is easier. Maybe not today. Maybe tomorrow. But it's going to, you're going to have to get comfortable breaking through that and saying, no, I want this and this is what I'm going after. And not being afraid of flopping and floundering and not being perfect right off the bat because you're not going to be. But that ultimately is how you get to where you want to go, is you have to push through that uncomfortableness of not being perfect, of stepping into the unfamiliar and the unknown, because that's where greatness is. That's where your dreams, that's where your potential comes alive, is when you start to step beyond that which is comfortable. You stop playing average. You start living life on purpose in really going after what it is you want. The uncomfortable is where you need to live. Get comfortable being uncomfortable. Get comfortable being unfamiliar and unknown and going after it, knowing that as you step along the way, doors and possibilities will open up to you. Things will show up serendipitously in your life to say, this is what you need. This is where you need to go. These are the people you need to connect with. But if you never get off the couch, you're never going to get there. If you don't stand up right now and do something towards moving forward, moving your goals, your aspirations, moving your skills, getting better, then you'll never experience it. You need to wake up to the possibilities that you can have what you want. And you're the one that's been holding you back. Your comfort zone is what has been keeping you trapped. Because your mind says, this is easy. Your mind is trying to protect you. You've got to condition your mind. People go out and get strength trainers to get stronger. You need to actually get better at making decisions and pushing forward and not procrastinating. Because ultimately, that's the only way to actually adapt your mind to getting comfortable in the unfamiliar and unknown. Push beyond it. Continuously push beyond it. Do something every day that scares you. 
set goals, set them big. Most people fail in life not because they aim too high and miss. Most people fail in life because they aim too low and hit. And most people aren't aiming at all. So if you got goals and dreams and aspirations, you better get comfortable being uncomfortable. I'm Dan Beldowitz, and it's time to wake up on purpose.